Welcome everybody. I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect main red snapper, aka hot dog. <laughs> but up in Maine, they're red and they snap when you bite into them. You got to start off with a perfectly seasoned, perfectly seasoned cast iron pan and some grade double A butter. Yeah. Now, you can fry hot dogs, you can steam them, you can barbecue them. You can even microwave them if you're into that shit. If you like a dried up piece of red shit, you know, but I wouldn't recommend that. All right, so we're going to start off with two tablespoons of grade double A butter. Salted, if anybody's wondering. Just chuck that in the fucking pan like that. Yeah, that's right. Two tablespoons. If you use any less than this, they're going to burn on and they're just going to be pissed off and they're not going to taste as good. If you use any more than this, it's going to blow up in a huge mushroom cloud and burn down your kitchen. I'm just kidding. Use as little or as much butter as you want. I like to use about this amount. Give my skillet good and greasy all the time. Keep your skillet good and greasy. Keep your skillet good and greasy. Keep your skillet good and greasy all the time. Woo! There's different brands of red frankfurters, a.k.a. hot dogs, a.k.a. red snappers. What we're going to be using here tonight is uh, Jordan's. we got Jordan's natural casing frankfurters you got to make sure that they're natural casing but there's also rice brand there is wa beans beans brand there's a km or km however you want to pronounce it there's a couple different brands out there they're all pretty good some of them have a little bit different spice in them but as far as i know they're all made with both beef and pork and her dyed red. <laughs> Get in there. All right, let's start off with a good even number. I like to call it three. And we're on a medium heat here in the old cast on iron. Probably let these go for about, oh, I don't know, five minutes, and then we'll flip them over. All right, well, it's been about five minutes, and Jesus, look at that. That cast iron and the butter, that's going to brown it up real nice. Let's give these a little swish around here, a little swish a -roo. Oh, those are going to be perfect. Those are gonna be fucking perfect. Oh yeah. Look at that, they're already separating. They're already snapping apart. There we go. A few more minutes, all we gotta do is turn off the burner, cause that cast iron is going to maintain the heat anyway. A couple more minutes and they'll be done. Alright, these bad boys are done. I'll just show you what the other side looks like. Perfect. You can see where the skin starting to split on them. All you got to do from here is take them, put them on a hot dog roll. I like to put some spicy brown mustard on them. And a little bit of ketchup. Yeah, you gotta have ketchup. Sometimes I'll put some onions on there, you know, but either way. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a main red snapper at its finest.
follow me for more recipes. <laughs> Just want to show you guys how I wipe out my cast iron after I'm done. As long as you get some good grease in there. She's all ready to go for next time. Look at that. Brand new pan. Christ. Yeah.